Hi everyone, welcome to another show of Singapore Math and today we are going to beat a complex math problem using Singapore Math model method. Let's go and dive straight to the problem. A bakery baked some square, round and oval cookies. So there are three types of cookies that the bakery is baking, square, round and oval cookies. For every three square cookies that were baked, two round cookies were baked. What does that mean? For every three square cookies, you will have two round cookies being baked here. So that means the ratio of square cookies to round cookies is 3 is to 2. We can conclude that from this statement. And for every four square cookies that were baked, three oval cookies were baked. So here there is a separate um, mention of the ratio of square to oval cookies here. And the question, find the ratio of the number of square to round to oval cookies. That's the first question that we have here. So let's go ahead and first write down what information we know. First, we know that the ratio between square and round cookies is 3 is to 2. The second information we know is that the ratio between square cookies and oval cookies is uh, 4 is to 3. Before that, we are going to actually just draw this down. So, in terms of models to represent this ratio here. Now we go ahead with square is to oval ratio that is 4 is to 3 and in terms of diagrams it's going to look something like this when you look at the diagram you will see something um, clear here you see this the size of this whole amount here is the same um, not here the unit sizes are different but the total is the same why is that so because we know that in terms of ratio uh, the square cookies is represented by three units here and four units here, but see if they are making square uh, round and oval cookies, the number of square cookies is going to be the same, right? Uh, although the ratio is different, the total number of square cookies has to be the same, although they are represented by different units. Now, since we know the total is the same, we can actually further subdivide them into smaller units of the same size so we can compare them. The method we use is the lowest common multiple or the least common multiple. So for 3 and 4, the least common multiple is 12. So 3 times 4 gives 12 and 4 times 3 gives 12. What does that mean? In terms of models, we are going to divide each of the units here into four smaller units, as you see here, right? And similarly here also, we are going to divide each of the units into three smaller units. So if we do that for all, you would get here 12 units and 4 times 2. Here is 8 units. Similarly, 4 times 3 here is 12 units. So we know that the number of square cookies is the same. And here we have 4 times 3. Uh, so what is that? Sorry, 3 times 3 is 9 units here. All right. So this is 12, 8, 12, and 9. Now, the square uh, in even in terms of ratio, the number of units for square has become uh, the same, constant. Now let's go to the question. Oh, before we go to the question, the square is to round, the ratio is 12 is to 8. The square is to oval, the ratio is 12 is to 9. And the question asks, find the ratio of the number of the square to round to oval cookies. Square to round to oval cookies. It's quite simple. 12 is to 8 is to 9. So that's the answer here. 12 is to 8 is to 9. And yeah, that's the answer for the first question. But 
we can write it in any order we want. Like for example, this can also be written as square is to oval is to round as 12 is to 9 is to 8. Now why am I writing this second piece? That's because you will, uh, that will become more evident when you look at uh, how we are going to answer the second part of the question. So just keep in mind that this is the answer for the first part of the question. For I'm just writing this for convenience sake for solving the second part of the question. Square is to oval is to round is 12 is to 9 is to 8. The second question, let's take a look at the second question. Um, let me clear this. The second question says, after the bakery baked another 120 round cookies, 30% of the cookies now were round cookies. How many square cookies did the bakery bake? So what is the change here? Before that, let's just represent the ratio of square is to oval is to round in the form of models here. And what is the change that is happening here? The bakery baked another 120 round cookies. There's no change in the square and oval. So we have additional 120 round cookies. Now once the 120 cookies were baked, now this, the whole thing is the total number of cookies. And 30% of the cookies now were round cookies. So everything together with the 120 extra round cookies together forms 100% out of which the round cookie alone forms 30% which means the other part meaning the square and the oval together will form 70% and how many units are there 12 plus 9 gives you 21 units so 21 units represent 70% or 70% represents 21 units. So let's go use that as a basis and try to solve this. 70% represents 21 units. So convert into 1% will be 21 units divided by 70. And 100% is going to be 21 units divided by 70 times 100. You can do the math and that will be equal to 30 units. Right? If you divide, subtract and do all the stuff, 100% is represented by 30 units. We saw that 70% was represented by 21 units. So 100% is 30 units. So this whole thing here is 100% and they should be represented by 30 units. We see here, we have 12 units here, 9 units here, which is 21, plus 8 units here, which is 29 units are accounted for in this portion, which means if the total has to be 30 units, this 120 should form 1 unit. Right? So one unit is equal to 120. That's the information that we can infer from what we are doing here. So one unit is 120. And the question is, how many square cookies did the bakery bake? Look at this here, clearly shows 12 units of square cookies were baked. So 12 units is one unit is 120, so 12 units is 12 times 120, which is 1440, 1440 square cookies. This is a two-step problem, right? The first step, we wrote down the ratios, which again, we looked for something that repeated, right? It's also, some people refer to this to this kind of problem as repeated identity because the number of square cookies is being represented twice in different manner. So that's the first part. And we solve that to be able to establish a relationship between the square, oval and round cookies. And after that, we solve the rest of the problem using percentage just because that's the information that we have here. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please remember 
to uh, put your comments in the comment section. Um, if you like the video, share with your friends, like, comment and subscribe. And remember to click on the bell button so that you can receive updates from me as soon as I upload a video. Thank you. Have a great day.